After watching a tennis game on TV, do you feel unacceptable and want to change the game result? Do you think this match is unforgettable and want to watch the shuttle speed again and again? Or do you want to have more interaction and immersive experience in playing tennis with your favorite player? Here we introduce an interactive tennis game system, which is called Tennis Will Play, constructed with models extracted from real tennis videos. The key techniques proposed for Tennis Will Play include player modeling and the video-based player court rendering. All the details will be covered in the following video. With the proposed work Tennis Will Play, working with your favorite player to win a grand tournament or even competing with your favorite player is no more a dream. We're going to introduce the proposed techniques in tennis real play. First, we need to separate player and the tennis court apart. For player segmentation, we reconstructed tennis court and segment the player out of the tennis court by frame difference. However, the result of hard segmentation is not satisfactory because the results are seriously dependent on the threshold. And thus, the segmented players are sometimes split into several components. To improve the segmentation results, we use self-segmentation, which extends the result of segmentation mask from 0 and 1 to whole grayscale level. Calculating the difference of current frame and the reconstructed frame, we propose a method to construct trimap automatically. With the automatically generated trim map, we provide Bayesian mapping to decide whether the unknown region belongs to foreground region or background region, and then get the final segmentation result. After that, we gather various motion directions and different hitting postures of player database. The size of each player is different due to the camera's zooming and zoom up parameters and the position of the player on the court, which results in uncomfortable vision experience. To overcome this, a fiducial coordinate is proposed. We project player's position in video frame onto fiducial coordinate and normalize player size by calculating the partial differences to get the magnification ratio according to the player's position on the fiducial court. Here we show the normalization results. All the players have the same size and move in real motion trajectories. Then we move on to the hitting postures. With the analysis of four trajectories, we detect when the play hits the ball and analyze the strength and direction of every hit. After gathering hitting data, we generate the statistics report of the player's characteristics, which comes out to be important information for further rendering. Gestures and activities of play are various and continuous. It is hard and difficult to render a vivid player without the model. Thus, we build a player behavior model consisting of serving standby hit and moving states. Arrow stands for allowable state transitions. All actions of a player can be composed by these states. To generate arbitrary direction of motion, we propose clip selection for moving of the player. As the figure shows, grid curves around point A are the trajectories of gathered motion clips and also the possible moving direction of the player. After selecting several smaller clips, we cascade them to create a new and longer one. When it comes to hitting posture rendering, we need to find and combine a suitable hitting posture which has similar shape and texture with current clip. Because it is difficult to find perfect match for two video clips, we introduce moving technique to smooth motion transition after selecting suitable cascading clips. Considering shape, color, and moving direction, we insert transition frames to smooth the shape, color, and sudden direction change. Finishing constructing the database, we build a 3D game environment for our interactive tennis game system based on 2D image. The 3D tennis court is constructed by 7 boards, which are marked as red quadrilaterals. After constructing the 3D model, users can change viewpoint as they like. With the position of virtual camera, we can render the 2D scene from 3D model. By changing the camera position, users can experience different visual effects of the game image. In addition to that, the 3D game model can be combined with our video-based rendering, which provides more vivid visual effects and interesting game result. For the interface dialog part, we use Wiimote to control the player. To recognize the signal from Wiimote, we detect the signal of acceleration in XYZ axis as features of input signal, and use SV and classifier to recognize different signals. At the end of this video, rendering results of tennis replay and our live demo are shown. Thank you.